there everyone, Darren here at the Seco Science Center. I wanted to come here and show you one of our special critters that we have living here in the Gulf of Maine, inside the center of course, and throughout the whole entire North Atlantic. This special critter is an echinoderm, which means spiny skin. As I mentioned, all echinoderms have spiny skin. If you were here to feel this sea star with me, you would feel all the tiny bumps that are running all up and down its body. That is to help them protect themselves from their predators that might try and eat them, as well as their harsh environment, which is the rocky shore ecosystem. In the middle of this sea star, it almost looks like there is a form of a circle, a shape of a circle right here. This is their center point. You then can see one line, two lines, three lines, four lines, and a fifth line, all extending from this center circle. That is radial symmetry. Do you see the radial symmetry? They have tiny two feet that help them move around and also help them stay suctioned onto one thing in one place when they need to be. For instance, in the intertidal zones where there's a lot of wave action. These two feet also help them eat. Sea stars are another great example of an animal that can regenerate their limbs if they are broken or torn off. This helps them get away and defend themselves from predators. A hormone is released into their body that tells them to let go of that specific limb that's being tugged upon or being bitten so that they can crawl away as fast as they can using those tube feet. They have evolved over thousands of years and adapted to be able to eat varying sized mollusks. They love mussels, dog whelks, periwinkles, clams, you name it. And they will use their hundreds of two feet to help them pry open shells. Once those shells are pried open by the hundreds of tube feet, they will stick out one of their two stomachs, their cardiac stomach, and they will put that cardiac stomach inside the shell of that animal that they're trying to eat. They will then inject that animal with different paralyzing enzymes and digestive enzymes, and they will start to slurp it right up until they bring it back inside their body, inside their mouth, to their second stomach. And those are only a few adaptations of our sea star friends in the ocean. Have fun exploring.